Raider Dash in Womble here. Uh, hope everyone has had a uh, great Sunday. Hopefully, uh, all the drivers are actually caught me. Eyes have gone weird. Oof. Been watching YouTube videos on the on the on the small screen. Anyway, um, I uh, yeah. So hopefully, you all uh, had a great weekend and certainly had a uh, great Sunday. Um, hopefully any drivers in the Lee Summit or Kansas City area have um, been uh, doing well today with uh, the Chiefs playing. I don't know what the result is. Um, personally, not really a uh, Chiefs fan anyway or NFL fan. So, you know, obviously Ripping it's the uh, home team, so I wish them well. But to be fair, I'm just really not into it. Anyway, hopefully all the um, uh, customers actually got all their food delivered as they wanted today. Um, well, I don't know about you today for, uh, or this evening, I mean, I didn't start until, um, actually I'm not sure what time I started. <laughs> um, maybe about five o'clock or something, half five. Um, we went and ate at the uh, China Dragon in Lee Summit. Oh my god. That was the place that we went, that I went to yesterday to uh, pick up. And, um. You know, there's only one person that works in there, so you gotta, I gotta uh, at least give her, her, uh. some good wishes or whatever for, uh working such so hard at it i mean she is the only one that seems to uh, be in there she was the only one today and any other time that i've ever been there or my wife and i have eaten there on a lunch time that uh it's just the one person in there so uh, for her to actually deal with helping people that are in the restaurant get a drink excuse me get a drink etc change the food out and the buffet deal with drivers deal with payment deal with people on the phone deal with uh, orders from people that are walking in and wanting to order there and take away i mean she she was doing doing uh, a lot of work but um as a driver you know as most of us we want to get in and get out we want to go in there know that the food's ready and be gone, deliver it to the customer, move on to the next job. Mainly because that is how we work, that's how we earn our, our, our money. And uh, we cannot be sitting around waiting on it. Yeah, I mean, we understand that there's there's things that go on. And of course, you know, if it's if it's a, uh, a well-paying well job, yeah, we'll sit around. Um... But you know, um, yeah, so when I went there and it was, there was a lot of people in there waiting that uh, Saturday night. But no, uh, my wife and I went there today, uh, she wanted to go to the buffet. Uh, we actually got there late for the lunch one, so we ended up, because uh, I was too busy out here working on the house, putting some stuff, working on, putting a new, uh, uh, trying to figure out the uh, lamp and put in a new LED bulb to it. That was a uh, bit of a feat. But anyway, uh, actually, uh, I had, uh, our neighbours over here, they're younger, they can get up and uh, get up on the ladder a lot easier and deal with that. And, and then at the end of it, it was, uh, well, <laughs> it's an old glass fitting, so... The old glass fitting got, uh, um, Ray got a bit pissed off of it, so it got a, one side of it got broke. But the light works in it now. Anyway, um, <laughs> how long it'll be up there, I don't know, so we get a new light fitting. But all I wanted to do was to, uh, shine some brighter light on here. And, um, because, you know, not being here all the time, um got to have something on your property if you've been uh, 
help uh, put some shed some light everywhere put some uh, light rating around and uh, hopefully deter some shite anyway uh, yeah so I uh, went to the China Dragon it wasn't bizarrely really I think there was like two couples in there at the end of it um, two other couples excuse me aside from my wife when we got there and um, the uh, dinner buffet is a, I think the same as the uh, lunch buffet just uh, more pricier <laughs> but I don't think I'm going back I don't think I'm going back there. I can't. I can't justify going back there. Um, I know. Uh, I just can't do it. Anyway. Uh, so yeah, after that, went to work. Just uh, switched on the apps when we got out of there. Took a picture of the uh, clocks to uh, see what the mileage is. Mileage. Bloody mileage on my vein. More mileage on my van is shot up to 214,000 miles. Holy crikey. Yeah. It's going up well with the uh, door dashing. Um, I think I did a total of uh, maybe worked about four hours today in the end. So, yeah, about four hours. Three and a half, four hours. I so weren't on it, weren't working long today, but it was, uh, for a night where, where the uh, Chiefs were playing, I thought that we would have been a lot busier. But I think we've, um, you know, this weekend we've had uh, some festival, uh, some uh, events going on in the area. I'm not sure if the uh, one in Greenwood that happened yesterday was still going on today. Um, but there was, uh, you still got the American Royal Barbecue, I believe that went on. They finished that up today, even though it's not in Lee Summit, but it's a big thing that happens in Kansas City. So um, maybe a lot of people went to that, I don't know. But, um, but yeah, it's. Uh, I think when it's a later, later uh, sports game, like this one started at 20 past 7 tonight, I think uh, people are probably filled up on their food during the day and really just have uh, managed to go out and get, get their food and, and um, get their booze, etc. And just sit down and just loll out in front of the telly. If you've been, on the sofa or the couch or whatever you want to call it and just uh, watch it. Don't, they don't need to order. Apparently I just paid Amazon. Oh, okay. Anyway, um, so, yeah, it's, uh, so it wasn't as busy. I think if we've got like a midday game or a, uh, uh, two or three o'clock in the afternoon game then it's it's a bit better for us all but that being said i mean we did do some work and uh we did um uh get to our quota but it was uh and i did do uh one going to uh, raytown that was the uh um from jack stack that was that turned out to be a, a catering order. So I did do that one. Um, so that was good. And then uh, went back to Lee Summit and took something to Greenwood, ended up in working down in the Greenwood. Um, went to uh, uh, Mai Tai, um, Thai restaurant, bistro down there on 291 and uh, 50 highway down there and um, didn't see a lot of cars outside so I thought oh great that one and it was going back to Greenwood I think but anyway um, 
got in there, I thought, oh, brilliant. Got, I mean, I parked up out there. There was a few cars up front, but not many. So I thought, oh, brilliant. I'd be able to get in there and get back out. Boy, was I wrong. Well, at least I thought that's what I was going to be wrong. I'd got in there and a lady came out. She'd just given some food to maybe another driver, I'm not sure. Uh, so it, they was on their way. And then she was going down the row of other drivers. It was like, I showed her what, what, who I was there for. And she said, oh, okay, yours, uh, be in the line. And I went, oh, crap. Here we go. So I said, well, then she went, okay, she was going down the line. And I said, well, how long? Because, really, I don't want to be sat there. I think it, it was like uh, about 11 or $12 job, something like that. I don't know. I'll have to, uh, I'll put all the, uh, what I did during the uh, night up here. Somewhere in the video, you, you'll see all what I've done. And, um, anyway, that one, uh, so she said, oh, maybe five, ten minutes. Oh, brilliant. Okay, yeah, I'll wait ten minutes, that's not a problem. Because, you know, as drivers, we don't want to be sat in a place for too long. I mean, yeah, if it's if it's uh, paying, paying well, then you sit your ass down and wait. But, um, but yeah, man, I did go and sit my, uh, my, uh, cheeks down on, on one of the seats, and just, and I spoke, speaking to the other drivers and, uh, a couple of ladies in there, and I don't know if, I think maybe just one was a door dash or, or driver, or maybe one was a private person, not sure, but anyway, um, and they'd been waiting there for, for a bit, uh, 20 minutes maybe? already and some one of the ladies they said uh oh yeah they told me if you've been uh 15 minutes tw 15 minutes ago or oh, 20 minutes ago Jeez. i thought oh brilliant here we go we're stuck here now and um and then you know uh had a bit of a discussion with the, with them to with both of them and going over a few things about the app or whatever and the things that I do on it um, how I try to avoid the apartments <laughs> I do my knee can't fit in cope with pissing about going up and down those steps anyhow um, so I barely in it I've, you know sat down maybe five minutes if that I was, you know, I was sat there prepared to wait. Okay, yeah, it's going to be a bit. Even texted the customer to say um, they're a bit behind. And what happens? They came out with my order. Now, granted, it wasn't a lot on the on on the uh, order. It wasn't a catering order by any any stretch. It was uh, a couple of bubble teas or something like that, and. Um, I don't know, something else, I don't know. Anyway, it wasn't a very big bag. And then they came out and gave me that. No, uh, um, okay. Oh, and she says, well, your order wasn't, wasn't, uh, wasn't that much, so they made that one. Well, you know, in one way I was grateful for it, because I could get out and run. But the other way, I was pretty actually pissed off. And the reason I was pissed off, and still am, is that it wasn't my turn. These women had been waiting. These women had been waiting, regardless of how much had to be made. Um, they should have been done first. Regardless of how much, how much, how small my order was that I was collecting or how small it was for the customer, whichever. But it should have been those two women first because they had been waiting for a while. 15, 20 minutes, 25 minutes, whatever it was. And uh, I said, what's going on? It was their turn. And um, they said, oh, it's just because it's a small order. I said, well, that's not right. Anyhow, I just got up and... 
wish the uh, the two ladies uh, well. And there was a geezer that was sat down there as well. We weren't joining in with anything. But anyway, uh, that was it. But I mean, I, I was generally, I'm, I'm generally, genuinely, um, still peeved off about it because in my mind, it wasn't my turn. Um, they'd already told me, okay, it's going to be five to ten minutes. But those women had been waiting long before I had. And, um, yeah, that's just, that was just uh, nuts. But, anyhow, I uh, got that off to the customer. Hopefully they got their food pretty quick after that. I mean, they were pretty fipping, you know, pooped off, you could tell it. And I, I mean, like I said, I, I am, I still am now. I mean, they should have had their turn. It wasn't, it wasn't for, it wasn't my turn to pick up. Um, so hopefully they got theirs and they had, they uh, got their food and uh, got on their deliveries or whatever. And um, had a bit, had a good night. Um, because, yeah, that was uh, a, bit, a bit stupid, actually, to be fair. But, yeah, it didn't really seem, I mean, there was a lot of little orders and that. Well, I say little orders. I mean, there was a lot of, uh, um, orders going on. There was some, uh, really ridiculous ones. There was lots of Walmart orders, which... As you know, I'm not going to bloody well do, especially with Uber Eats. I mean, Uber Eats just want to flipping rip you one flipping to uh, try and do a uh, order with them for Walmart. Ain't no way I'm doing it. Uh, no, no way in hell. I'm not doing it with Uber Eats. I didn't do it with uh, uh, what's their name, DoorDash, and I'm not. Yeah, I'm not doing it with with Uber Eats either. Um, I'll do it with, uh, I'll, like I said, uh, maybe yesterday or the day before, I'm going to uh, do one with, I'm going to uh, join up with Spark. Uh, I've actually downloaded the app today, so I'm going to, uh, or, yeah, during the day, so I'm going to uh, mess around with that. Because my wife's gone in and watched the cheese game. So, she's sat in front of the telly enjoying that and I can be out here pissing about with this and uh, moaning about the uh, tyre place and um, I can also go on and uh, figure out this Walmart Spark thing. So you'll see me, I'm going to uh, do a video about that as well. Um, just a, uh, maybe I'll do a day at Vipin doing Walmart Spark. I can't do it in my own area because apparently it's full um two closest areas uh, near near this way are full um i can try oak grove i suppose but i don't really know how that way either but but um i don't know i'm gonna just figure out figure it out as i go along um and then there's a couple of other apps as well that i want to try which i keep going on you all about but i'm I will get around to it, honestly. I'll tell you what, tonight, on the way back from Greenwood, my wife, coming back from Greenwood, my wife suggested that maybe I should go to... Perkins! Look at these bloody crumbled cookies when you can have proper flipping stuff from Perkins. I get up, like in, in the Perkins at our, our one in Lee Summit, um, you get half a dozen vipping uh, biscuits, and for five dollars, jeez. If you go to Crumble Cookies, they do you one, just one vipping biscuit for uh, more than that. I don't like Crumble Cookies. I bloody hate the place. Move the half piece of going in. Anyway, look at that. That one. I know I've got a stove on in there. Oh. 
And every time I walk in there now, there's uh, one of the waitresses in there. She said it to me the other night when I went in there. She shouted over biscuits. It's not the worst thing I've been called all day, but thank you. <laughs> um, <coughs> well, what she was referring to is that um, because in England we call them biscuits. Not bloody uh, cookies. We don't have bloody stupid cookies. We don't call them that. And your biscuits are what we call scones. So, when I first came to the country, came here, and was in some breakfast place and read on, read on the menu, biscuits and gravy. What in the hell do these people eat? <laughs> this is crazy. Anyhow, um, yeah, that was that. Ah, uh, but I do like biscuits and gravy, funny enough, at some places. I had it, uh, at the, uh, Lung Jack Cafe during the week. That was pretty darn good, actually. Pretty filling. I only got half an order, so. I hadn't had it for a while. Anyway, uh, yeah, so, oh, there was some silly, 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 silly offers came through tonight, and, um, I just, uh, like I said, I'm trying not to, uh, take any notice of those, because there's just so many of them, and it's just, uh, over and over and over again, but you just get paved off and get so many of them. But some of them I have to take a picture of and I'll share those on there because some of them are actually bloody ridiculous that you just have to, I just can't help myself, I've got to do it. Just, <laughs> why in the hell do you think that you're going to get your food delivered 15 miles away for two, two and a half dollars? 15, 16 miles away. Beyond me. Um, what else we had? Uh, yeah, the alcohol orders. I thought that we were supposed to be doing this uh, test or something to do the alcohol. You know, last year, I don't know if you have to do it every year or is it just for uh, new drivers or what? Because I was I'd done a couple of um, alcohol delivery delivery orders last year honestly I didn't care for it I don't care I don't want to deliver it I don't want to deliver it to some drunk or some wannabe drunk whatever I really don't want to do it um, it's uh, and plus it's a pain in the ass it, it was last year, I think it's changed this time. I did an or, did a um, an alcohol delivery a couple of weeks ago, I think it was. And it actually went to one of our uh, regular customers, I suppose. Regular delivery spots. Never seen these people before, because normally they just drop it at the door. But she had to uh, be at the there because I had to see her ID. She was obviously over at a legal age. There was no problem with that. But still, I had to scan in her, her ID, and it just, it worked. It was fine, it went through, done, douche. But I remember doing one um, last year, I think, yeah, this, yeah, last year sometime. There was some uh, big festival downtown, uh, Independence, and I had to deliver over, over around the back of that somewhere. And, um... It would have been when I was first sort of starting, I suppose. No, sure, I'm sure I did something about doing this alcohol delivery lot, but I can't remember. Too long ago. Of course, it's getting bloody hot in here, isn't it? Anyway, um, so so yeah, I see that you you can. I'm still getting orders, the offers coming up. Excuse me of uh, delivering alcohol, but I just don't want to get involved with it. I just really don't want to get involved with it. Because I just feel that one day it's just going to be, you're going to have someone that doesn't have their ID or 
it's just going to be a pain in the rear end. Somehow or other, it's just going to be a rock roll pain in the ass. And I just don't want to deal with it. I dealt with people with so much, so much I dealt with people back home when I was doing the cab driving. When they got, when they were all rat assed and, I mean, these people are either flipping getting ready for a dinner party or whatever, whatever at home. Or um, they're getting ready for, uh, I don't know, watching a sports game of some sort. Or they've had one too many and they've been still been want some more delivered at half nine in the morning. Yes, I've seen it. <laughs> one of my uh, crazy days of trying to uh, start early, never again, um, came up nine, half nine in the morning someone wants alcohol delivered really someone wants to get started really early or well, still extending over the night i don't know but anyway i don't want to do it I don't want the ass um so yeah uh but daughter seems to be a lot quieter now have anyone else noticed that? DoorDash, uh, Uber Eats. I've done a lot more with Grubhub recently. A lot, a lot more with Grubhub recently. Um, not more than I've done with DoorDash, but it seems to be a lot more of the uh, Grubhub have come in. Even though they still come up with their flipping, dark flipping um, things where they want to send you 15, 20 miles away or whatever. And I won't have any of that, especially after I tried that. But um, but we've had some uh, orders that are near enough on our doorstep kind of thing, and where we've been or not too far away, and I picked them up and delivered them. And um, you've done not too bad with DoorDash, uh, DoorDash, uh, Grubhub, excuse me. Um, are they coming back? It seems like they were, they were not working too well there was i thought they were getting ready to go out of business and whatever or whoever had bought them um was talking about get just uh, getting rid of the app or whatever but i don't know seems like we're getting a bit more not i mean a great deal but it's an it's enough um uh, yeah i mean it's enough well, I mean, you could do with more, but I mean, it's it seems to be some good paying orders come from them a lot more, and uh, ones that are a lot closer to deal with, rather than the uh, ones that are 15, 20 miles away to go pick up and then deliver a mile away from the bloody restaurant. Um, no, no, I didn't do anything with Uber Eats tonight. Had several orders come in. Uh, most of those were Walmart, so a lot of declines, a lot of hit the X button. Had several Walmarts who've been just all came in. Walmart, dish, 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 dish. Bye. <laughs> Not doing bloody Walmart. Um, I noticed the other day, I don't know if, if any of you have seen it, I was over at Quick Trip on 291 in Lee Summit, and uh, there was a great big transit van with, um, uh, with Walmart spread all over it. It was obviously a Walmart van, I mean, the blokes that were there, we've been delivering from it, were all in Walmart flipping costumes, costume uniforms. And uh, I think they're dressing up for Halloween. They're going to be ripping Walmart employees. Well, that's enough to scare anyone, I suppose. But anyway, um, they're, they're a van. They've got this new uh, transit van. 100% electric. That's good. Don't seem to do a whole lot to do it. A whole lot, though. I looked up the new transit van. I didn't know they were doing a new transit van that's electric. Must keep up on that more, but... It doesn't seem like it's going to be doing a lot, like about 130 miles. Hell, I can do that in a, in a, in a night vipping, delivering with DoorDash, etc. Easily do that most of the time. Today it was only 90-something. 
but it was somewhat good because that kept us in the area. We were just racing around the area and, and within the zone. But the, uh, but yeah, they got this, and it says like grocery delivery, etc., on it. Some are they getting fed up with Walmart and uh, Walmart and uh, Uber Eats, etc., and just getting their own people to deliver? I don't know. That's the first one I've seen. I don't know if anyone else has seen them at all, but I've got a picture of it. I'll put it up here. Yeah. Um, but yeah. It's, uh, maybe that would be good, maybe not, I don't know, that's, uh, if you got two of you that were in it, there was two blokes that were, that were there, so maybe if uh, one does the driving, the other one does the hopping out and delivering it, or, uh, they both get out and flip and deliver it, and it's better between two of you doing it, jumping in and out the thing, but, So yeah, I wonder if that's how uh, Walmart are going to go. Uh, as well as Walmart Spark, I mean, I've also noticed that point pick. Noticed that point pickup have been advertising recently. Uh, another Walmart thing, I believe. Um, and I haven't seen much about that, but I've noticed it. Their ads popping up on uh, Facebook, etc., recently. So. Maybe they're pushing that because uh, coming up to the holidays now, isn't it? I know it's like what, four months away, I suppose now. Three months. Mm. Anyway, it's getting closer. So uh, yeah, I wonder if they're just pushing that to get more drivers to do that. Uh, talking about driving jobs, I see that UPS are dri uh, the UPS are hunting for people, which is usual, isn't it? Every flipping holiday, they're gonna start flipping, grabbing drivers in to do stuff. Amazon will be next if they ain't already started. Uh, the post office are already started, and they're all paying. I mean, uh, UPS uh, for certain positions, I saw it were paying thirty dollars an hour. Depends what position you take, I suppose. But I, I don't know which what they're paying their drivers at all, but could be good but you seen flipping how late some of these drivers at go i know with the amazon um they had to like these great transits and sprinter vans etc that that are out and about all over the place that are work that are amazon vans their drivers can't go home until like they've delivered everything out of their van that's what i was told at least and uh Bloody hell, I mean, I've seen some of them working really, really late. I thought, I, I did sign up to do Amazon Flex at some stage. Still haven't got on that, I don't know what's happened with that. Maybe I have to reapply, maybe I'll reapply on that. Just to uh, see what it's like. Do I want to get involved in it? Might as well get involved in it now. There we go, before the bloody winter comes. <laughs> or comes in too much more that's not well I'm still wandering in a t-shirt if you've gone in the tri China Dragon today and yesterday good grief <sighs> like a bloody sauna in there damn I wanted to go if you've been take a pair of shorts in there it was bloody hot in here when I was in there with the drivers uh, yesterday they were or Saturday they were um was just though. Anyway, uh, one of them was wearing a sweatshirt or hoodie thing or something. Bloody hell! I mean, it was a little bit chilly outside, I suppose, but but it was uh, not in there. Um, yeah, it's uh, but it has been slow slower with the uh, DoorDash and the food delivery apps. I've noticed in our market. Um, recently, I, I mean, yeah, you're still going to get all the crazy orders, but uh, offers rather, but you just don't take them. No one's going to make any money from a $2.50 order, so don't bloody well take it. And any new drivers that happen to be watching me, you don't have to take every bloody order. 
you don't have to remember that you're paying for the car that you're using you're paying for your petrol do you really if you don't want to take a two dollar fifty order then don't take it and i recommend that you don't take it because you ain't gonna earn any bloody money from that that's uh it's just nuts um don't worry about it just uh, decline it there's a decline button or reject button whatever it is um you got the door dash has got the decline button in the top right hand corner uh uber eats has got the x button in the top right hand corner and uh, if you do grab up it's the reject button at the bottom very bottom make sure and they're very close to one another i noticed that on the uh, grab hub as accept or or uh, decline and it's smaller letter in decline just hit decline or reject excuse me reject on there don't be afraid it's your vehicle that you're paying for it's your petrol that you're paying for you don't know anyone fipping to deliver their food for 250 you don't owe anyone to put in, um, deliver for anything below if you've been five dollars. I mean, if you think you can make money at it, half at it, go at it. it but you ain't. You are, you're going to run yourself bloody well ragged. You're going to ruin your car. Don't forget, you got maintenance to pay on the car. You're paying the bloody insurance for God's sake. That ain't cheap. Unless you've got one of them cheap ones that, that I keep seeing about. Has anyone got that, actually? $19 a month? Have anyone, there's lots of ads about those for different months. Does that work? I don't know. It seems $19 a month. Maybe it goes up from that, depending on your driving record, etc. I'm sure it does. But um, does that actually work? Is it worthwhile doing? Maybe someone can write down in the comments if they work with it. Um, yeah, I mean, you're paying your insurance. You're paying if you've been, you, if you've got a payment on your car, you're paying for your bloody car payment. If you've, um, you've got your petrol to pay for, you've got your vehicle maintenance. Somehow along the line, you've actually got to eat as well. And, um, none of it's cheap. None of it's bloody cheap. It's, it's not a game. It's not a game. You've got you've got a uh, vehicle that's costing you quite a bit of money. Even if you're not, even if you're lucky enough to have paid off your car or just bought a car outright just to use on it, whether it's two or three grand or whatever you, that you spent on buying a car, and uh, you're out here to uh, earn some money with it, you still got to maintain it. You still got to pay the bloody petrol in it you still got to pay the sudden insurance on it. And as we all know, it's not cheap. None of it is cheap. So for 250 bugger those shipping things. They, they're not going to vip and earn you any money. Don't do it. The people that are putting in those orders, I don't know what their circumstances are, whether they're bloody Egypts and just think that they, they're going to get their food for two and a half quid um, and not give you any any tip. They don't appreciate your time or whatever for standing in line to uh, or waiting in a drive through to get you, get their food. Bolex to them. That's it. I mean, some people, yeah, they, they don't have the money to do it. Um, some people, I mean, the the uh, prices that they get charged from DoorDash, etc., to deliver. Some of these people don't bloody well know how much a driver is actually getting. I, um, the birds down at the uh, hairdressing place that come do trimming my hair at once or twice a year. <laughs> they, uh, they had no clue talking to her about that with that I do that and she says oh she gets uh um DoorDash to deliver her, her groceries or whatever from IV or wherever it comes from and I told her how much the driver gets and she was like what I said no that whatever you pay in fees does the driver does not get the driver will get a basic on it 
no matter what you're doing, whether you're doing a, doing a uh, food delivery drop, a, uh, I don't know, delivering bottles of alcohol, whatever it is that you, that comes from DoorDash or Uber Eats or Grub, Grubhub, well Grubhub is a bit different, but anyway, but, um, but certainly DoorDash. So telling her that, she was in shock. I, I said, yeah, we don't get that. We rely on your tips. That's, that's all it is. We're supposed to get 100% of the tips. Whether that's correct, I don't know. But um, we've had some very good tips recently, the, uh, which I'm very happy about. Um, delivered one uh, order a couple of nights ago, a couple of days ago. And it was a uh, catering order. And he had to go, what was it, mile and a half down the road? Yeah, mile and a half down the road. Um, Mexican food uh, from Carmen's. And yeah, like I said, a mile and a half. And uh, it showed, it came up as, uh, I've got to remember, you know what my memory's like if you've seen the videos before. But, um,. I think it was like twelve and a half, thirteen dollars. I mean, for me that was fine. I mean, bloody hell, and he had to go mile and a half down the road. Yeah, I had to go to Carmen's, but Carmen's can be a pain in the rear to wait at times. But, but um, but no, I mean it was only going at that that um distance. How long got to do it? But as I got there, um, pulled up, opened up the app. It's a catering order. So got to get out, take a picture of the bloody bag, even though I bought the bloody thing off of him, they should have a record of that. And I shouldn't have to bloody well take a picture every time. I think I've been bruised. Um, but yeah, and I took that one, uh, like I said, a mile and a half. I wasn't hardly in um, uh, Carmen's too long. Well, I was, because there was a mate that spotted me and I ended up drawing it for a few minutes. And um, then went and grabbed the food. It was uh, the lady there gave me the food and it. And off I went. Delivered it within a few minutes, really. I mean, it might and half. I mean, it took a little bit to figure out which house it was. Um, yet another one in a dark street. But, but anyway, it was... Uh, got it there. Turned out to be a $29 job. And it kind of about mile and off. Yeah, I'm damn ungrateful for it for sure. I'm not ungrateful for that. I'm very happy and I'm very, uh, very happy that I got that. Um, but you're not going to get those jobs every day. But what I'm saying is to the new drivers, don't just take the two, don't take the low offers. They don't owe you anything. Don't owe you anything at all. Just sit. Read a book, listen to the radio. Just wait until something comes in that's more reasonable for you to take. They'll come in, don't worry, they'll come in. Yeah, there'll be a bunch of flipping ridiculous offers. But don't take them, for crying out loud, don't take them. Um, just do those ones. Set yourself a minimum. My one, my Minimum is six fifty. I'm not doing less than that because you've got to you got to go to the restaurant. You may have to wait at the restaurant. More likely, have to wait at the restaurant, depending on which night it is, depending on how, how much or day it is, depending on um, what their staff, how much staff they've got there. Or are the staff in zombie mode or something? Don't know. Um, it's you got, and you you'll get to know your restaurants. You get to know the restaurants in your own market and figure out which are the the quickest ones to be at. And that's what you want. You want the quicker ones to be at. Get in there, get out, get the food to the customer, deliver it to the customer in a timely manner, and Give it to them as they would expect it, as you would expect food to be delivered to you. Put on the doorstep, you don't want your fingers all in it. 
people just want the food on their doorstep or hand it to them um, from a driver that doesn't look like they just got out of bed or something or rolled out of a pub or somewhere but um, um, but yeah I mean but never take a load tip it's not gonna it's not worth your time not at all all right well anyway um i haven't got any more to say except it's time for my biscuits biscuits did i tell you what oh yeah i told you that yeah we've gone through the biscuits one all right anyway uh so thanks for watching uh, if you've got any questions certainly feel free to uh message me or send a comment or whatever through here um you'll also find me on tiki tock or whatever they call it instagram too and on facebook and twitter uh all are at the handle at at dash and womble or whatever they call it hashtag something or other anyway it's at dash and womble that's all you need to look for um i think on uh instagram i'm on dash and womble kc as well yeah, I had a bit of a cock up on that, but anyway, I have a way I've got both of those on there. Um, but yeah, that's it. So, um, if you like the video, please put the thumbs up button, click on that. Uh, that helps me a heck of a lot. Apparently, I don't understand it all, but apparently that helps. Um, also, hit the subscribe button. That will be most appreciative too. And then hit the little bell, bell icon as well, um, the one to the, the right of the thing. And uh, that'll warn you when it'll send you an alert. Warning, warning, warning. The crazy man has been sent another video out. <laughs> yeah, I try to have a laugh on the channel. Um, but it's... Uh, and then if, you know, if you feel that you've been entertained or there's some good in listening to whatever I've babbled on about and that might help someone else, then feel free to share it with someone. Feel free to send it to your friends or your family. Or even if there's someone that you don't like and you just want to torture them for listening to me. Go ahead, send it to them, I don't care. <laughs> Maybe they'll subscribe. Maybe there'll be one of the VPN people that just want to uh, put in a moany comment at the bottom, but, you know, I really don't care what they do, because those comments, I don't care a crap. If they didn't like it, then why the hell would they watch the video this long? Maybe they uh, fell asleep halfway through it, but anyway. Alright, um, either way I would have entertained them or helped them somehow or other. Alright, well anyway, enough for me, I've babbled on enough, so uh, thanks for watching, uh, hopefully uh, all the drivers that are early out are um, going to have a safe and uh, stress-free day, and uh, hopefully any customers that, that do happen to watch the channel um, actually uh, get their food delivered as they wanted it, and all is good. Alright, well anyway, thanks for watching, uh, I'll uh, probably have a video out soon. Alright, cheers, ta -da.